Hello everyone, I am Paul, and today we are going to be reacting to the State of Play by PlayStation February 23rd, 2023. Uh, I'm a little late to the official broadcast, I had some classes to deal with, but we're here now and I'm going to watch the whole thing and I'll go over my, I'll go over what I think. Uh, I'm probably going to get a lot of stuff that I don't care about or just am not as interested in, that just happens, it's like the Nintendo Directs. Um, Pretty much definitely some Resident Evil 4 info, which I'm looking forward to. I love any info on Resident Evil 9, if we get that, because that's probably like a next year or 2025 thing. Uh, I'd love some Silent Hill info after that Silent Hill broadcast we got last year. Uh, uh, hopefully some Spider-Man 2 info from Insomniac. And uh, maybe some Mumpa League info for Crash, maybe. And hopefully some Spyro. Just those are the big ones for me. That's why I love most. But we'll just see what PlayStation has to offer us. So with all that being said, let's go. All right, we're filming. Kurt. Mic is off, and let me turn it down a little so I'm not too loud. Yep. Are you pinning that? Right, okay, yeah. I forgot there's gonna be some VR too. But... Oh, hopefully, this music isn't copyrighted. I'm gonna need to start keep talking over it because I don't want to deal with that. No oh, Man's Sky. Uh, oh, hell no a No Hello Neighbor game? Really? Oh, yep. There's an evil village. Really? Another Hello Neighbor game? That's concerning. Welcome to our first okay, State of Play of 2023. We've got a lot to it show sure you, is. including an in-depth demo of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. But first, right. PlayStation VR 2 is finally yep. here. Let's dive right in with a look at five games arriving on PlayStation VR 2 this year. VR 2 Let's is one of the laziest names I've heard in a long time. Okay. Kid, we gotta work on your focus. Distractions. Jim. Jim? Jim. They'll get you killed out there. Remember what we shook on. Or, I guess we'll just have to keep this up. I like the music to this. Let's try again, shall we? <laughs> again, this might be copyrighted, so I'm concerned about that. Uh, this looks cool. I don't know anything about this game, but this looks pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, this is a really catchy song. Uh, I gotta keep talking over this. I'm sorry, I really don't want to gamble with copyright claims. I've already had to deal with multiple in the past few months. Uh, put a load of Foglands. Interesting. It looks cool. I'm curious about it. No, VR2 is one of the laziest names since Xbox One Series uh, One X S, whatever. Okay. And dreams. Fortunately, don't. Do not recognize those? Unfortunately. Sorry about that notification. Oh, that's cool. OK, 
Okay, you got my attention on this one. What are you showing me? This looks like it has some Deus Ex references, or Dead Space. I'm sorry, I'm not sure which one, but it looks like it has some inspiration from that. And kind of Callisto Protocol. This was a- Oh, cool! Synapse. Okay, definitely interested. That looks interesting, for sure. End Dreams, okay. This may be hard to hear. The Empire will fall. Empire will fall. Our okay, galaxy let's see if this... will be plunged into 30,000 okay. years of chaos and war. Probably not Star Wars. We can't stop it. But there is a plan to save humanity. There always is. Okay, that's not a book series, interesting. So, will you fight for a dying empire? Or help us to reach foundation? Okay. Autumn this year. All right. I think I'm hitting this you see that too. tower out there? Big scary one. That's mm -hmm. where I'm taking you to see the gatekeeper. To be judged. Your life. You're gonna show oh, what's it. These, what do these graphics remind me of? Just think back to the very oh, that beginning. One game? First thing, uh, the people who made Untitled Goose Game. This is what the graphics remind Every me. Every time you blink, you're going to jump forward in time. Hey, you! Come over here. Is that really you? It, it's Chloe, your neighbor. The only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius. Which might live on after you're gone. Oh. Close your eyes now. And keep them closed. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> you're ashamed of something. Something so terrible, you're trying to blink right past it. Now, the next time that you blink, I'm gonna send you back. And just try to enjoy it this time. That looks interesting. I like the look of that. That's really that interesting. I'm looking forward to more about that. Great upcoming games for PlayStation VR 2. No, they look good. Up I really next, like when Bungie VR isn't exclusively. New look at Destiny 2 Lightfall, which launches on PS5 okay. next Game week. week. I really like when VR games really branch beyond just shooters not that shooters are bad but i really like how we're experimenting more with vr and the ideas and possibilities with it i really like that what is okay that? destiny info the witness the malefactor of our first collapse is at our doorstep you have no purpose because you fear to seek one that fear is your failure. Vanguard to all units. Keep the enemy away from the traveler at all costs. More copyright music. I understand what's oh, at God, stake I'm on you. I'm really nervous. All of us music. have lives to spare. Your fear brings you pain. We know pain. Because, like, the people talking should balance it out. It should, but I'm really concerned about how much 
audio it needs to pick up to get clean, because I don't want to try and redo Metal all of this. Here and now. But I can only come up with so much to talk about while it's running, especially when I'm not as interested in the game, so I know a lot about this thing. So now I just have to start rambling like this, trying to branch it out. And that's also probably really obnoxious to people as well, trying to just watch it and enjoy. So it doesn't work out. I'm sorry about that. Oh wait, that comes out like next week, right? No, that comes out in like five days. Okay. Interesting. I do a pre-order for again, it's less than a week away. Looks really interesting. It looks really interesting. Hmm. Curious. Chia is one of our most anticipated games, and it's launching into the PlayStation Plus game catalog in March. Alright. Speaking of PlayStation Plus, let's take a look at what's in store next month. Crazy this March. Oh boy, more copyright music. Are you kidding me? Okay, uh, Minecraft is, I played the arcade version, uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna mute it now because it's some really loud copyright music, likely copyright, and I doubt it's going to be anything like that, I feel like this, so there shouldn't be anything else. Okay, more than this, yes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, Our next game go. is from Enhance, the creators of Tetris Effect and Res Infinite. Ooh. Okay. Tetris Effect. What do you got for us? I can see people do some really creative and really pretty and abstract things with this for sure. This looks pretty interesting actually. Optional view, nice. I was not expecting something like that. That's really interesting. May of this year. Okay. Limited time demo. Cool. Oh, 
Oh. Whoa, this looks pretty. A rhythm game? So, big day, class president's speech at the assembly. In light of the whole space rock potential demise of civilization thing, my chosen theme feels off. What's the theme? Using this year to, um, make an impact? Yeah, perfect. Go with that. Are you okay? You've come into this year kind of intense with the band stuff. The band is important. Why did she have to just leave? I said it was an emergency. You did? And it is to you. It's weird how everyone's acting like nothing is different. Like to me, everything feels different now. We've always done what you wanted to do, and that's fine. But. There's only so much time we have left. How are we supposed to just be fine? Calling it now game of 2023 for me. Calling it now, that looks really exciting. I'm really interested in that. Okay, let's see what you got in the room, too. Just cut you off completely. I'll inherit my master's will. You can't defeat me. No matter what you become, Hi, Dr. I will always love you. The Hokage is the person who walks in front of everyone and bears all the pain. So I don't know a whole lot about you, so sorry. I'd so probably obsessed? be more excited, otherwise I'm really sorry. Because we're friends. Here we go! <laughs> In a flash! Huh? My blood is boiling! Charge! No despair. You can't escape. How about this? You were! Move! I win. Don't underestimate the will of fire. I'll settle this! Now is the hour of judgment. Amaterasu. The weak are the This is the power of all the well ah. Keep going, Lee! Here I go. I'll protect you to the end. Sting to the beat of the killer bee heat. Prepare ah. yourself. Sweet dreams. How about this? You'll be eaten alive. Ah. Idiot! Catch! Lock on! No, Choji! Ah. Shino, fire all round! Super Beast Scroll! There's Rock Lee. Ah. From here forth, history will be spun again. And so began their journey. Ah. On a path with no end. It's a hell of a lot better than Jump Force. With this power, I will establish perfect order. What you describe is nothing more than oppression through force and fear. My frail little brother. No. I do not wish to fight you, elder brother. Interesting. Okay. Captivating fantasy worlds await in our next two games. Not really a fantasy guy, but what do you got for me? I'll tell you a story, true soul. My life was dismantled piece by piece. And when I tried to buy it back, it cost me everything. I must finish what I started. Death's design will be complete. Discover Gatherick's secret. Find out what it is that makes him invincible so we can strip him of his advantage. Okay. Again, really not sure on the music. I might be overthinking it. Um. Your opponent yeah, looks interesting. The slave to forces you I'm not a huge fantasy guy, I'm afraid. Catherick I don't have the patience man, for RPGs most of the time, especially grinding. Allies uh, worth having. This looks pretty. Together, I'm sure it will have its fans. Just not for me. Uh, probably not for me. I'm not saying fantasy is bad, it's just for the most part not my thing. Bow before 
before me. Bow before the absolute. Bow! Baldur's Gate 3. Alright, what are you? Welcome to Wayfinder, an online multiplayer adventure for you and your friends. Oh, I'm it's out. all set in Evanor, a gorgeous but fallen world. You said the words. You'll control the chaos through Wayfinders. Meet Senja, who likes to get up close and personal. And Silo, who fights with both firepower and fast reflexes. Good for you, kid. And Wingrave slices through the frame while also supporting the group. Put another victory under our belts. Let's head to Skylight, our social hub. Here, you'll turn your loot into new weapons and wayfinders. You can also explore dungeons called Lost Zones that you can modify and mutate for a greater challenge. Lost Zones are where you and your friends will team up to complete quests, collect loot, and hunt bosses like this Titan. We're excited to bring Wayfinder's beta exclusively to PlayStation, and you can sign up for the chance to play early now. Thanks for watching. Interesting. Again, just not my thing personally, sorry. Next week. We've got big updates on two highly anticipated Capcom games, starting with yes. the debut of three new characters for Street Fighter VI. Nice! Here's the Capcom info. I forgot about Street Fighter VI. Oh, this is going to be good. I think this game is going to be great. Okay, let's see what they got. Is that him? Yes, it is. Welcome back, buddy. Good to see ya. Oh, that counter? He looks great. All right, you are man. I call upon you, great wind. Toino Ikonoi, spirit of the wind. Let yourself become one with it. Lily. Hey, Blanca. Was Blanca confirmed yet? <laughs> this game visually looks phenomenal. I think this is going to be a great game, assuming all goes well. You know, these new characters have some great moves and designs. Oh cool, she has Sokka's sticks from Avatar and the Last Airbender. Cool. Oh, sh That's going to be fun to watch. Okay, who's the third one? But not the one we're looking for. Oh? Cammy! One environment looks great. in those counters it looks really good okay let's see this a 
Oh yeah, this is World Combat. All of his limbs and yeah, face would have fallen off after that. That was so cool. God, that logo's awesome. Yep. In second. I think this game is going to be great. I can't wait to see when it comes out in summer. I think it's going to be an awesome game. But here's the one I was waiting for. You see, we are all connected through the holy body. When you need only accept the sacred gift. Christ! Like... She did. Temperance, child. I'm taking the liberty of preparing some entertainment for you. Ah, oh, oh, this voice sounds way different. Without further ado, the gallant knight protects the princess fair. <laughs> I'm making cheap for you. Move! Whoa! How about you open fire instead of your mouth? Long time no see. Major Krauser? Why? You can't save her. You can't save anyone. What's gonna happen to me? We gotta keep moving forward. We will be this Whoa. together. Nice. Thanks. Oh, and come, Sancho Panda. Let us rescue the Princess Dulcinea. You gotta hurt yourself. Mm. Sorry, bad traffic. Fun combat shot. Compliment to Hunnigan. Ha ha! This is kind of fun. The mind turn segment. Whoa. Ah, yes, the time has come. Like I told you, I'm gonna get you home safe. I'm ready to die, rookie. Exalt all, Leon, and let it be so. This time, it? it has to be different. Well now, time to cause some mayhem. Birthday weekend, baby. I'm really excited for this. This looks so good. Oh, I really hope this game turns out well. The show's not over yet. It's Harley Quinn, it Deadshot, King Shark, and Captain Boomerang against the world's greatest DC superheroes in this extended look at Suicide Squad. Kill the Justice League. Let's hear okay, from developer be the rest Rocksteady of the Studios. Okay, let's go, Rocksteady. What you got for us? Hi, everyone. My name is Darius Sedarian, and I'm the studio product director at Rocksteady Studios. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is the next installment in the Arkhamverse, and we'll be releasing this May. It is a third-person action shooter set five years after the events of Batman Arkham Knight. Metropolis has been invaded, okay. and you're going in as the Suicide Squad members, Harley Quinn, King Shark, Deadshot, and Captain Boomerang to face off against the ultimate threat, a corrupted right. Justice League. The team has been hard at work at creating the best possible game experience for our players, and we're very excited to share more as part of this state of play. Today, let's take a brief look at one of the missions in our game. The Flash has been corrupted by Brainiac, and as the Suicide Squad, you'll need to work together in up to four-player online co-op to stop the Flash and rescue Lex Luthor in the process. Enjoy. Interesting. So this is five years after Arknet. Okay, so it's like an actual series of the Arknet. Okay, this gives me some good Let's bust something up! Is that Tara Stone? Is that someone else? Sounds a little different. Oh, you know what? Hold on a sec. Hello, Brainiac. Is it happening now? Great. You will have Luther ASAP. Good news. You want Luther? All you have to do is come and get him. Nether Realm Studios when you need them. Task Force X, what the hell was that? Flash is alive. And he has Luther. One damn thing 
at a time. Okay, King Croc. King Shark. Sharks and full senses. Okay. chance in hell you can destroy it, I expect you to. No matter the cost. Are we clear? Shoot, I don't know this. Where the snowball? Time to light them all up. Incoming Ollie! Alright. Out of my way. Guess Quinn ain't holding anything back for later. <laughs> Hold my beer, guys. Let's dance! Good, using character. That's gonna leave a mark. Yeah. Focus our fire on this tank. Why do we never get reinforcements? Under upon this tank. Yeah. Oh, can you switch from them on a dime? That's interesting. This shot sounds interesting. I'm used to this voice actor in Justice 2. Incoming! Set this job of flying! Roger that, Quinn. Eyes up. We got more company. Go, shark, go. Senseless violence. Love it! Man, he looks good. CWB, this is how you do Suicide Squad. Not Killer Croc, Killer King Shark. And Boomerang doesn't have a fetish for pink unicorns because he came out the same year as Deadpool. I like that it doesn't seem like he has a bat. It's definitely something different, and I like that. It's not just a typical baseball bat. The mid-air combat looks great. I don't know how often that was done in the Arkham games, but it looks really good. I like how, at least for now, they're getting along in a way that makes sense for them. It fits their characters. Well, there's Luther. Is that the Punisher logo on his shirt? So, how the whole taking down the Flash thing go? Still in play. Can to get out of my way? I have work to do. <laughs> well, hey there, sleepyhead. We've got an interrogation to get back to. Hey. You think I'm just gonna let you walk away? And tell these guys everything you know? <laughs> you think they can stop us? Pathetic. Pathetic? At least I'm not a big hero turned stooge for a spaceman. <laughs> Okay, Boomerang. You want to see what a real hero can do? I'll show you. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Flash, how do I stop ah. this? Please, tell me how. Nice Wonder Woman design. I like it. Hitchhot's mask looks a little weird. You have to kill us, Diana. We have to die to save the world. <laughs> hmm. 
May. Let's cut loose. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League arrives on PS5 May 26th. This is gonna be good. Rocksteady Studios has even more to share today. Let's listen in. Ooh. Yep, about 10 minutes left. This is probably gonna be all we get for the rest of the presentation. Show me what you got. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is an extension of the Arkhamverse, and it's really about awesome. now reframing the story and telling it from the villain's point of view. Where are we going, and who are we killing? It's a mixture of lots of the things I hope I the fans like about Rocksteady, but like a whole massive chunk of new stuff that they've never seen before. <laughs> We've always seen Batman's perspective on this world, and we thought it'd be really fun and enjoyable to see this universe, but through the eyes of the villains. We're picking up the story five years after the end of Arkham Knight, and a lot's changed in that time. Just checking. We're all seeing that thing, right? Brainiac has invaded Earth, and he's this huge threat overlooking Metropolis. He's taken over Metropolis City. The Justice League are there to try and save the city. But Brainiac has captured and brainwashed them and turned them against the very people they've been sworn to protect. Oh, they got Green oh, Lantern. Superman! Cool. So the Justice League share the same goal as Brainiac to take over Earth and turn it into the new Kalu. What we've created is a classic Justice League, but with the sense that there's something wrong with them. They are now uh, doing Brainiac's shoot. bidding. Oh, I don't remember that. Amanda Waller I'm so sorry. scrambles to try to uh, remedy this and essentially save the Earth. And she recruits our four lovable characters into fighting the Justice League in an effort to reclaim the Earth and thwart Brainiac's plans. Your new mission is to kill the Justice League. The members of the Suicide Squad are Harley Quinn, great. Captain Boomerang, Deadshot, and King Shark. Harley Quinn is definitely group, the most acrobatic of, of the crew. She's always moving, she's no, always flying through the air in kind of barely controlled ways. The feeling of swinging, well, they had the to momentum, have taken some the kind of physicality of it, and, and trying to keep that momentum going and use that to go over buildings or swing under bridges and yep, chain that. that has to be the grapple inspired by Spider Man. It just feels spot on. I'm a freaking superstar. Deadshot has the iconic Deadshot look, but with a Rocksteady twist. His mask looks a little weird. Like his head is too stretched. And in this game, he can also out. hover with his jetpack. He's super precise. It looks kind of like Shaggy in that in rifles, foul playing phone. rifles and pistols, and they all fit with his sort of the fantasy of playing as Deadshot as this master assassin. Wait, green question. You want Team Waller or Team Get the Hell Out of This Mess? King Shark, to hmm. me, as as a person, is well, as a fish is this incredible character who's super well read and I wonder super if the green question mark is Green I'm Lantern sure Riddler or something else. That'd be really cool. Actually, I'm the son of a god. It is my shame to suffer mortals and their buffoonery. But also doesn't really know simple words or simple things that are going on. I think that's brilliant. In terms of combat, he is a brute. He, is he a sounds kind of like Drax. I like he can that. Take more damage. His abilities all lean into the fact that he wants to get in a bit more close and personal. He's the fastest melee character. Captain Boomerang's got his um, speed call. force gauntlet that he can use together with his boomerang. He can throw it to any point in space and speed force to that point along the walls. Oh, the cool. Get wherever he wants to go. Oh, he's got a teleportation that, tech. Like nice. Dodge around in mid air, taking out the enemies, and then scarf her because he, he doesn't want to stick oh, around. That's how that works. Oh, that's so Don't cool. Worry, guys. I'm here. One of the most exciting parts that connects our game to the DC lore are the support squad. Here's all, widow. You have Penguin, the arm stealer. You're making guns for us now, bird brain. But also some new faces. Hack, who is a digital ghost that is helping the squad navigate the world, but also upgrade their mech bombs. That's a big adrenaline spike and a nice bomb sending out. This. Toy Man, who's helping the squad with perfecting gear. Toy oh, Man, nice. And then Great idea. We have Gizmo, who is helping the squad with insane oh, vehicle awesome creations idea. that let you blow shit up. Metropolis is your playground. You're going to get to meet different characters. Characters. I like that different a lot. Villains, she looks and you really so get good to see these character. cool, iconic locations. Being the city of tomorrow kind of like meant stark contrast with Gotham City, which is very dirty, it's always raining. And that contrast with like a city. Wow, that skull shit looks great. It's very clean, it's very functional. 
the huge difference between Metropolis and Gotham is that Metropolis really the sculpture for Bringing Us is designed like Superman. like so Sauron. There's a lot of statues. Wow, that's thanks cool. Superman for everything he's done for the city. You're getting to see Metropolis through the villains' eyes. You're getting to experience this world and traverse through this world as the villains. Greetings, Metropolis. So the core ability that everything wraps around in Suicide Squad is your traversal. How that works with combat is you're chaining your combat moves together with those traversal moves and the combat encounters are all designed to push and pull you around the environment in a battlefield that's constantly changing. Working out how to use all your different weapons, your guns, your melee attacks and how to use them all to your best advantage to control the chaos and come out victorious. What's awesome about gunplay is the variety. So there's six core types of weapon families. We've got assault rifles, SMGs, sniper rifles, shotguns, miniguns, and pistols. There's added variety Sweet. from weapon manufacturers. There's LexCorp weapons, there's GCPD weapons, there's Amartek weapons. Later on in the game, we also have gear sets. The gear sets are villain themed. For example, if you have a Bane gear okay. set and you trigger his buffs in the game, some of it will have the Bane oh, drums cool. and you will like burn and like boom, boom, boom. And then there's like green smoke and you trigger all kind of effects. So you're oh, so basically you're not just to the floor of Suicide Squad arts. That's villain. awesome. You're bringing it into the game. Ooh, Each character if you have a has a power level in the game that we call gear score. As you acquire new gear in the game, your gear score goes up. And as that number goes up, it means that you can take on much harder missions. As part of this progression journey, you will unlock more and oh, more okay. skills, yeah. more, so you more can ways to customize your character to really yeah, fit the way you want to play. Every firearm in our game is upgradable. So in Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, you're gonna get lots of choice to use the weapons that you need and to complete your missions, but most importantly, mm. you will be able to customize your squad to be whatever you like. You can wear whatever you want, any of the outfits. You can be running around in your <laughs> nice reference jail there. outfit and still have like the best gear score. <laughs> I like it. Our game is a one to four player like cult experience, which means that all the missions in the game have been designed Makes sense. to okay. solo play, playing with a friend, two friends, or three friends. Designed for both. For single call. player fans, you can play in single player with bots filling in the role of the squad, so you still feel like you're part of a team, and you can switch them if you want. I'm gonna try King Shark now. Uh, or we can say, well, I think Harley will be a better fit for this mission, so I'm going to switch yeah, over and nice. try her out. But if you really want to tear it up, going in with a full group of four lets you experience the full mayhem the Suicide Squad has to offer. And you get to really oh, experience yeah. the dynamics between how you can all play together in different play styles in order to take on Brainiac and the Justice League. All the fun is right here. When the story's done, your experience doesn't end there. Rocksteady will continue its legacy of supporting the game after it's launched. We're going to deliver yeah, yeah, lots of new content right, to our long. players. We're going to have new right, playable characters, nice. new weapons, and new missions. Sweet. For players who oh, like I'm to customize their looks, works. we'll offer a battle pass that only contains cosmetic items. This is going to be so much for the players to enjoy. Just picture it. Harley Quinn kills the Justice League. If you like story games, if you like RPG elements, if you like co-op games, if you like customizing your characters, if you want to play as a badass, this game kind of has it all. It's very fast paced, it's really colorful, it's loud and unapologetic and in your face and it's gonna be really, really fun. Hey Metropolis, do you like live executions? Well, don't touch that dial or I'll break your fingers. Me and the boys have some killing to do in May. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice oh, League arrives on PS5 good. later this year. We'll be back with more announcements soon. Thanks for watching. Uh, that was the end of it. Okay. Uh, minus no Spider-Man 2 info, which is disappointing. Uh, it makes sense since just Suicide Squad comes out in May. So it's a lot sooner. But I'd really like to see Spider-Man 2 info. And really some info on Wolverine too, Because we haven't gotten any info on that since it was announced. But beyond that... I really enjoyed that. Uh, there was a lot of really cool games there. Uh, some smaller ones and some big league ones. I'm really excited for this game. For these games. Uh, great state of play. Really glad I got to see it. Uh, what did you guys all think? Uh, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Take care. And we'll see you all next time.